Hey guys, it's Rachel Goldstein here with Ninja Babes and today we are making cold brew coffee. All right, today we have a very short video because this is so easy to do, but not enough people do it and everybody loves cold brew coffee. So all I've done so far is put two and a quarter cups of coarsely ground coffee beans in this glass bowl with about four quarts of water. I like using this glass Pyrex bowl because it comes with a top and when it sits in my fridge for about 24 hours I can just stack things on top of it and it doesn't take as much room as what I used to use where I just had saran wrap on top. Um, so this is much more convenient. So just let it sit in your fridge for about 24 hours. That took about uh, 30 seconds. Okay, it's 24 hours later and it's just been soaking in the fridge so I took it out. And these are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a ladle to scoop it. You're gonna need your next jar that it's going to go in and be stored and cheesecloth. So I bought this off of Amazon, this gallon jug, um, because it's just easier to get it in versus a wide mouth. Um, I was using like big plastic pitchers and it was just hard to get the cheesecloth to stay with rubber bands and then once you were done like getting the rubber band off without everything falling into your cold brew. So I bought this as well as this. This is just a funnel so I put the cheesecloth on it and it makes life very easy for me when I have to do this by myself. So I cut my cheesecloth to the right size and just laid it over here. Um, and since my coffee is coarsely ground, it should prevent it from going through these little holes compared to if it was like um, ground for making espressos. But there still will be some residue, but I haven't um, found that to be too much of a problem. It kind of just settles to the bottom. So you just can give it a nice stir and just start scooping. So then you'll see that the coffee falls to the bottom and the grounds stay on the top. And there we have it. You got your cold brew for the week or the next couple days, depending on how much coffee you drink. <laughs> So I like to put it in a mason jar because it's pretty, with some ice, ooh it's heavy, some organic half and half, and then a compostable straw, ta-da, enjoy!